It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams are intent upon tasting glory. Welcome to the showpiece event on the European club calendar. Derek Ray here in the commentary position, joined tonight for live coverage by Stuart Robson. It's Real Madrid and they face Villarreal. Well, Derek, it doesn't come any better than this, does it? This has the makings of an absolute classic. These are two brilliant teams and at the moment I can't separate them. Starting players for Real Madrid. Nacho Fernandez plays with Sergio Ramos at the back. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And beginning the game up front today, Karim Benzema. Look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. Well, the 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. Champions League final commences. Karim Benzema. Lucas Vasquez. Real might threaten on the flank. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Moreno. Jeremy. It's with Parejo on the offensive. A gift for any goalkeeper. And given his magnificent form, then there's every reason to believe that Cristiano Ronaldo will make an impact here. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine with teammates, particularly in tight areas, in and around the box, clever little one-twos, little passes around the corner. He's the player that could be key to breaking down this defence. Parejo, read it well. Di Maria. Benzema. Benzema! And it's in! Real Madrid strike first in the Champions League final. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next and they continue to advance and a lot of options here Di Maria
Di Maria. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Benzema. And he's made headway. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. to be a lot better than that straight into the wall well kept out And fired over by Kors. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Benzema. Real chance. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. He'll try his luck here. Well, it wasn't quite as dangerous as I thought it might be. Juan fight. Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. A very good tackle. Benzema waiting. Well, the danger is still there. Attacking possibilities for Real, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Oh, he's gone for goal! And a goal! I'll tell you what, they're going to be very hard to catch now. Name on the trophy, maybe. Well, we won't get tired of seeing this, will we? Because that struck so sweetly. He really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. What a good finish that is. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Real Madrid have given us away. Might be a chance here. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, as you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. <laughs> Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer.
And possession lost by Real Madrid. And he's broken free. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Morales. Oh, in with a chance. Firing is in. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, the, well, the post got in the way. So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Di Maria Benzema Benzema and it's in Real Madrid strike first in the Champions League final well the free kick needed to be a lot better well kept out chance well he had a lot of ground to cover splendid save oh he's gone for goal might be a chance here And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. And he's broken free. And there is the goal to make it a hat-trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. <laughs> 45 minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Bale, he's in behind. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping.
Horse with the corner. A deft clearance. Really getting stuck in. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. Well, there it is. Confirmation of Real Madrid's dominance in this game. They've created so many chances today. Ronaldo. And the flag had to go up. It wasn't close. And giving the ball to the opposition that time. Modric. On to Ronaldo. Well, far from the ideal pass. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay and sometimes when you've been pressed high up the field you have to go that little bit longer and not play out through the thirds and that's what they tried to do here they had their pocket picked and suddenly they find the ball in the back of the net oh my goodness it's so one-sided 5-0 in this match Silver platter for him. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. to the final half hour Nacho Fernandez here's Carvajal Benzema Ronaldo and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him Moreno an inability to keep hold of the ball there Moreno pretty simple for the keeper succeeded in keeping it in play really good challenge Parejo, Moreno, oh dear, not a great effort was it? Possession lost, intercepted. Moreno. 
making sure nothing came of it Ronaldo oh he's gone for goal well I gave him the big build up but the keeper has it comfortably Morales here's Morales Real Madrid sloppy in possession Parejo Lo Celso that's useful play Moreno not a very complicated catch for the keeper Modric spot on plenty of support here and he might be through here oh there it is it's one goal after another and it speaks to the quality of that performance well here it is again and it's all about the pace in transition they're so quick to get out from the back and Ronaldo finishes it with so much quality. Just look how much power he hits this with. It's a top-class goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Etienne Capou. It's with Parejo. Went in strongly, decisively. Karim Benzema. And offside by a very small margin. Showing a real will to win the ball. Jeremy. Might be able to get in behind the defence. And it's gone behind for the corner. Over it comes. And the main thing is to thump it away. Well, no damage done. Really good high press. And there it is! Real Madrid, Champions League winners! Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives, and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Real Madrid. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion. It's natural to reflect on this final, but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign. Memories, memories. What would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters? Well, these fans have certainly played their part, haven't they? They'll savour these moments. They've travelled far and wide to follow their team. They're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.
Well, these are the moments they have to make the most of. It doesn't happen very often, does it? These will be photos to cherish for years to come. Brilliant stuff. And you are looking at the best club side in Europe.